Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Steve and Starsky Show. I'm Steve. I'm Starsky. And today we got our boy, our homie, family. In the building. My man, Fela. What's up, people? What's, What's up, up, little brother? What's going on? All is well, man. All right. I don't like how you make me feel when you do that to the mic, man. I don't like how I, you know, you, you, know, you start. A, it's a blessing for me to be here. <laughs> to engage in this conversation. <laughs> so today, so today we're going to, um, um, we're in a new setting. We, we're trying some different spots out, you yeah. know, while we get our uh, show on. Get our feet under us. Yeah, you know what I mean? But we're going to try and bring um, more and more content to you. Hopefully we go a following that really like the conversation we're having about relationships and and we as men and, yeah, okay. you know, our experiences. Yeah, okay. let's get to it. Then. All right, fine. So, <laughs> <laughs> so today we're going to talk about what we're going to talk about. So you said you were having a conversation with somebody, with a, with a, a, a friend of yours, mm-hmm. and she was talking about uh, that there's a, a number of women. Oh, I saw this. No, I was, uh, yeah, 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 I saw, um, Something on YouTube. Oh, okay. Saying, okay. Like, uh, so we could talk about settling. Okay. I think it's a fascinating subject. Settling. Yep. Because the reason why a man settles, I'm using my air quotes. I've been trying okay. to pull these out. Oof. Mm-hmm. And the reason why a woman settles, settles mm-hmm. are often two different reasons. Okay. Right. So it was a it was a um a thing about uh, women who are very successful and um successful educated in their careers making money independent yeah. Yeah. how they find themselves they have to date down okay meaning the pool of available specimens right aren't up to snuff of where they are they right. are right right thoughts <laughs> Dude, that's pre- that's pretty sad man that they there's nobody out there for them to date and I think that they're putting too much emphasis on finances and their view of success has to has to begin to to change in order for them to really find valuable people because what they what it seems like was was just said was the value for a person is just as valuable as they are useful useful to you or that they are as valuable um Based upon their, revenue, their value, like their, their output, their, their value, contribution, their, output, mm-hmm. their contribution to what they can. Now I hear a lot about what what they can bring to the table. Yeah, type of type of situation. Yeah, but yeah, but the thing is though, you know, the funny <coughs> thing is, I was talking to somebody one time, and um, and I said to I said to them, I said, you know what, it's like you're in a relationship, right? And mm-hmm. maybe you're not satisfied with this person, and you think if I go out and get someone else. That next person will have all the good stuff this person has, plus all the stuff that I'm missing. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's the idea, yeah. but that is not the truth <laughs> yeah, at yeah. all. You know, I think when it comes to the idea of settling, though, like, you know, we got to also look at what the landscape is, like, in terms of relationships and partnering for life and living in this world with a person coexisting. Like, we live in a world that's set up a certain way, and. Yeah. For us, it's always going to seem natural because it's patriarchal. So okay. it's designed for our comfort, but it's not designed for women's comfort. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I would agree with that. So the more successful a man gets, and, and this is just like on paper, the more successful a man gets, the more access he has to the things he wants. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The more successful a woman gets, the less access she has. Because Break that down a little bit more. Uh, the, so well, as she has to the things like uh, when we talk about like uh, it's not it's not the same companionship it, it, do, it doesn't it doesn't rise at the same scale. I agree. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah I see for, that for men and women. So, um, let's talk about Oprah, right? Okay. Oprah's uh arguably the most successful woman that e- either of us could name off the top of mm-hmm. our heads, right? Mm-hmm. And Stedman is a very successful man. He's not Oprah successful. Right. Right. By no means. Right. 
um, whoever we would consider as a man that would be Oprah successful couldn't be in a relationship with Oprah. Like mm. Oprah and Barack Obama, that wouldn't work because she wouldn't be able to be Oprah. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Like that's a lot of what Michelle Obama's frustration was. It was like, yo, mm. I am dope. By myself, I'm dope. Right. You know what I mean? I'm Harvard Law graduate dope. I'm I'm dope mm. the same way he's dope. He just went for this next job and this job after that and got him. But I'm not a... I'm not a first lady. I'm right. an incredibly accomplished woman. Right. But now I got to play a role because in this patriarchal world, it's framed around him. Okay. But you know the funny thing is, I think I think it's something. I think we we always have to play a role, depending on our situations. We're always playing a role. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think, I think it's when you're playing. A less role. It's like it's like a Chris Rock special. You gotta know when you. Sometimes you gotta play the tambourine. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta play the tambourine, and there's nothing wrong with that. But the thing is, yeah. For instance, like I, I remember, um, remember that show, uh, um, the one where they go to pe- people's companies, um, and they somebody infiltrate them, like like they're one of the, but it's actually the boss or the owner of the yeah, company. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I, I forget yeah. the name of the show. Right, right. But there's this woman. Who she was running the company, mm-hmm. and her husband was a stay-at-home dad. Yeah, you know what I mean, raising a family. But she's the one mm-hmm. out there and me flying all over the place. Right, she's running. Mo- Dude, like when you're, is it about the family unit? Is it yeah, about the building of well, family, or is it about the ego? Do you want, or is it important for you to say, oh, um, you know, I'm I'm a this, but my husband is that, and and that's what I. There's was, mixed messages. I was talking about their idea of success has to shift yeah until Mm -hmm. you know if they can find someone that fits their criteria that's beautiful Mm -hmm. but you know you're overlooking a whole bunch of different men that may not have the financial success you have Mm -hmm. right they may have you know intangible things absolutely I'm, I'm, i'm i'm finding out that women um especially women of color you know they they don't know how to recognize talent you know, um, cause cause what what that what's, what's beginning to happen is is that they're overlooking character, they're mm. overlooking a whole potential, a whole bunch of things mm-hmm. that makes a man a man. Yeah. Because am I a man as as long as I'm useful? Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and we that that's the question that we have to really dive into. So when you talk about patriarchy, we we are victims of this too. Absolutely. You oh, yeah. know. <coughs> of this of this system mm-hmm. and something has to change the mm-hmm. perception has to change with these women at the top yeah you know not necessarily are they settling but they just have to shift their per- perception right because the money is not that important you know right a person's character is really important yeah you know because a man can have money but then he's going to be an asshole he can he can but a man cannot Often. have any money mm-hmm. he can have character he could be loyal he could be trustworthy and different things like that, mm-hmm. and you know that those are the things that really supply happiness. Those intangible things, yeah. And I think that they really need to dive back into that and start looking for quality, and and not for this value um, based upon finances so much. But the, but the, but the thing is though, the the thing is, it's like it's it's a. I think the way the society goes, it's it's. It's counterproductive to that thought. Yes, we're we're trained yeah. opposite of that thought. Like mm-hmm. like what you what you brought about is like a real world situation, a mature look at things. But there's so much of us that is like ingrained in the way we're brought up, and because like being Western in background, like you know they want you to bring home a doctor, lawyer, all that kind of nonsense. Mm-hmm. And the yeah. thing is, the idea is if you have all these things, you have a a husband with these credentials, you will be happy. You will, you know, and, and, and we, but there's certain things we, even though we, we live and we see it's not true, we just can't let go mm-hmm. of the possibilities yeah. that we associate those things with mm-hmm. happiness. And, and yeah. that's the thing, that's what ev- everyone's looking for. We don't happiness. let go of the picture, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And, um, but like most women, in some degree, date down. Marry down, maybe not mm-hmm. financially, 
But like, how often have you been like, think about any couple friends of yours who like the guy does some shit and that's just who he is. Like so and so get a few drinks in him and he's always you know I mean like, and she's that's the guy she's chosen. Like in in that setting, mm-hmm. he's the embarrassment, right? Mm-hmm. But if but and that may be extreme. But when it comes to, you know, not a lot of women are showing off their man because men don't have to, men aren't the trophy. The woman mm. is the trophy. Yeah, but I, w- I, don't, I don't agree with that statement, most women date down, because I think everyone dates down. Yeah, but I'm saying it applies to women as well as it applies oh, to Oh, yeah, men. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I, okay. Because I'm like, everybody, like, you know, like, like, I talk to my girlfriends and, you know, it's always appeared in my life. And they're like, oh, Steve, I just don't want to settle. I'm like, dude, everybody settles. Mm-hmm. Someone's going to settle for you. Mm-hmm. Someone's going to settle for you. Like, you think, the, 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 I, the thing is, when you're the one barking all the criticism, you give yourself this false sense that you are on the level. Like, you right. are the, p- you're not. Right. You're just not. But th- there's no one challenging you in those conversations so you're free just to oh yeah spit it out like oh wow this dude blah 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 yeah. I'm like yo dude wait a minute yeah like you know you're, you're a little much too you know I got a one of my good friends I always talk to her about this man we always get into this mm-hmm. you know uh, she was on a date with some dude and um, I guess the date didn't go well and mm-hmm. she was just checking in to see if uh, everything was cool uh-huh. and he wasn't getting back to her I think he was sick or whatever but she had a an explanation why mm-hmm. he wasn't getting back to her. Right. And she acted on that. That she right. conjured in her mind. Right. Yeah, I mean, she could have been right. She yeah. could have been right. But, but, but. My, but she uh, didn't ask him. So she, oh, okay. she sent a text to him believing her reason for why he didn't do what he, she thought he should have done. Right. And I was like, what, what are you doing? Right. Well, no, he, you know, he's like, she's going on, and this is my girl, like, she's family. Mm-hmm. I'm like, dog, you can't do that. Because you, you you come off like a psycho. You can't do that. Well, yeah, and what happens in those scenarios is now this is the scenario. The scenario isn't what you had up here. The scenario is the action that you took, and right. now we're dealing with this. Right. So if he decides to flip out and curse you out or whatever, and call his girl cousins and jump you, whatever, like it's all overreacting because you were living in here. Yes. But you gave him this. Yeah. And I, and I think so many times we, we just think we're far more important than we are because people's lives are full of other things that could have been going on. Like, like for instance, whether they're full or not, they're theirs. They're not right, ours. Right, right. Like, mm-hmm. it, it's almost like, hey, look, I could be like, um, I could, yo, you're going to call me? Yeah, I'm going to call you tomorrow. He don't call me tomorrow. Now right. I'm pissed. Well, you, you ain't call, well, what's, right. A whole host of things right, right, could have right. happened. Yeah. And he could, and he could just decide... I don't feel like calling. I don't feel like calling. Yeah, exactly. You know, I could be like, "Yo, I think my man ghosted me." I could be right. Maybe he did. Yeah, but I I don't know that, so I can't. I can't all of a sudden, you know, start texting you the "Yo, son, are you ghost me?" Right. right. I mean, but that, but, but we have these. Like, I don't. I've learned that that man. Like, listen, man, you. It's not all about you. And even if they're ghosting (laughs) you, they're always telling you. They're telling you already. All right, this ain't working. Why give it the energy? Just keep it moving. Right. Again, holding on to that picture. That picture, Like, man, you know, you, the point that you made earlier about, you know, being trustworthy. Like, if you give it enough time, everybody's trustworthy. Hmm. If you, give you just got to believe what they actually are doing. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like, if a guy says to you, you know, I worked overtime. I was working over, you know, if a woman's in a relationship with a guy and he's like, you know, I was working overtime, I was working overtime, and it turns out he wasn't working overtime. He just gave you what the truth is. The truth is I will lie about my time and where I've been. Exactly. Now, you can trust that from here on out. <laughs> That's trustworthy. He will <laughs> lie yeah, yeah, yeah. for whatever the reason is. Uh-huh. Like, he, like, trust that. That's, mm-hmm. the, that's the truth. We are all trustworthy if you give it enough time and if mm-hmm. you actually look at what's happening. That's a fascinating point of view. <laughs> yeah, that is true. They, they'll that, they'll that. actually show you <laughs> who they are. Right. You know? Right. Yeah, yeah but th- th- but you have to be able to see it. Because you have to be able to see that, though. But that goes back to the things um, that you were talking about, that she fabricated this mm-hmm. reason. What happens is we live so much in our head, yeah. we can't see the truth. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? So 
you know, a woman or a man will make excuses for that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, you know? yeah. And not see the truth. And then your friends will be looking at you like, what the hell's going on? Right. Like, why are you not seeing, you know, A, B, and C? Right. You know? Yeah, and, and the response is, you just don't understand. Yeah, yeah, you just don't. Y'all don't understand. Don't, don't it's, understand. Not, it's not like that. So everybody's so. telling you what what <laughs> what they're seeing, yeah. and what what that other person is showing, and it's like, I know it looks like that. It, it, it yeah, like it looks it, like that, it, but it with, you know, there's stuff that you don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, right. so, so someone said, "Who said um, settling? We all settle." Yeah, Steve. We all settle. But that's exactly the point. We just we, we all yeah. just made that point yeah. because yeah. we have the illusions in our mind of what a person is. Right. But right. Really, what we've done is we've settled for people that probably is not, you know, the highest of what we think they are. Yeah. Not everybody, but most of the time we do that. Let me let me let me throw something extra in there. When I say we all settle, I'm not saying it's like a bad thing. No, that that. Yeah, yeah I, I just wanted for the audience that it's not a bad thing. Right. But the thing is. If you have an idea in your head what your ideal if you had to if you could build mm -hmm. your mate, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? What you know, you could all the all the, the extras and all the add ons yeah. and whatever, mm -hmm. right? I guarantee you, if you look to your left, wh whoever your <laughs> your you know, whoever you're, you're in the relationship with, with does not look, look, don't look like, like that. that. Don't, don't look <laughs> or like doesn't that, act yeah. like that. Right. right. Yeah. So the thing is it's nothing wrong. Like, dude, like there is a fantasy and then there's reality, yeah. right? There is what I want my life to be perceived as. And then there's what, how I want my life to feel well, yeah. and live. And oftentimes those two things don't coincide. Yeah. Right. Those Here's things create expectations. Oh. Right. And, and as men, we have to live in expectation. Women have expectations that they have to live into also. Absolutely. Yeah. But we begin to live into these expectations, you know, like we got to work ourselves until we die. You know, uh, what's it, what's another expectation? We, we're expected to be uh, chivalrous and yeah. gentlemen all of the time. And we're expected to be able to to defeat any threat. Right. Defeat any threat. Yeah. Like yeah. what would be like, how, how tragic would it be if you're walking down the street with your lady and some guy comes up <laughs> and he's not taller than you, more muscular than you, like nothing. Like he's he's not, you know what I mean? Mm. The Incredible Hulk didn't walk up to you. Just a guy walks mm -hmm. up, right? And he grabs your woman by the ass. And then beats you up. Oof. Like you go to defend her honor so she and gets lose. your ass whipped. <laughs> uh. Right? The expectation is <sighs> this scenario only plays out one way. Mm. Should anybody dare, you know what I mean? It's open disrespect season. Disrespect this her. woman's honor. <laughs> like, right. This guy, it's no threat, bro. Starsky's <laughs> about to <laughs> clean you out. Exactly. Like, man, how how terrible would it be for Starsky? To get and, cleaned out. Yeah, <laughs> to get cleaned <laughs> out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the funny thing is, it's like, uh, I was going to say something too. Like, there's a. Um, you know, when we talk about these expectation things, like, you know, like I have these conversations with friends of mine all the time, and then someone always comes up with, well, a real man or a real woman. I hate that term. Yeah. I hate that term. Yeah. Because, yo, dude, we're all men and women, right? What, what, like I always say this. What's a real man in New York City ain't a real man mm. in the mountains of Mississippi. Or, or you know what I mean? Because if you can't hunt, fish, and do that kind of stuff, you're not a real man. Yeah, you can yeah, shoot a gun. Yeah. It, I mean, like that. Like I, I just think it's such an ignorant thing to say. Like, well, well, a real woman. Because when someone says that, they're implying that they're a real man or woman. Mm. You know what I mean? Well, 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 a real man will whoop, <laughs> whoop that dude's ass. You know what I mean? So I'm right. saying if it was me, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm handling my business, son. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. But it's easy to say what you will or will not do when that thing doesn't present itself. When you're mm -hmm. in the, the yeah. comfort of your, like, <laughs> when you're in the comfort of whatever space you're in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, I was, I, was, um, I'm, I don't want to get off subject. But. but, you know, it's interesting. Like, when you think about, like, fairy tales, you know, any of these, like, ideas that are, whether they're fiction or whether they're stories that became fiction and just kind of expanded to the point that now it's you know mythology and people don't believe that it's real but once did whatever point is like there's a place for that in our psyche like and 
there's an argument to be made that there's a necessity necessity for that. I yeah, I can see. You know what I, I mean? Like we is. need pictures, yeah. goals, pictures of ideas. Yeah, yeah, destinations. Exactly. Yeah, this is yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I so get like, that. So like, I mean, the what, prince was always the prince. What, 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 without, there's never a case where the prince becomes the prince. With with without mm. the fairy tales, mm. the fairy tales establishes value. Yeah, because a, all, and then we begin to see all women as princes and all women as prince. You know, and yeah. that's that's the good value of fairy tales is that it establishes worth. But here's the, that's know. what. But the the problem with that in that narrative is if the man never becomes a prince, she can't become he a can, princess. Then he can only disappoint. Exactly. And, and that's, yeah, that's right. That's exactly. Whereas right. every woman, whether she is a princess or not, or a she's just Cinderella on her way to becoming a princess. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Whereas with men, it's like, how do you not be a prince? That's what the story is. But that's the way. But but in our in today's society, that's what weddings have become. Women's chance to play out that fantasy of being a princess, or yeah. you know what I mean? Because it's all about that fantasy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Unfortunate. I mean, yeah, but you know where that comes from? That's just a commercial situation. That's not yeah, even. Yeah, but weird. But you know the funny thing is that the, the problem that I, I think us as a society don't realize is how influenced we are, how much of, of a sheep that we are. The problem, the greater problem is how how much we don't realize how, inf- I'll, one day I'll have the words to say this clearly, mm-hmm. but the, the greater problem is we don't acknowledge and understand how influential we can be. Yeah, true. We don't realize like our job is to create tomorrow. We believe our job is to live the best experience in today as it was designed and created for us by whoever was here yesterday. We mm. don't think our job is to push tomorrow into existence. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? Like we don't but like that's why all disruptive ideas are so disruptive because everybody is settled in the status quo. Everybody's like, you know, well this is the way it's always been. Or this right. is the way I have always remembered it, or right. the way I've always pictured it, how as if you, you can't it? picture something new. Right. Right. How do you change it? Yeah. How do? Yeah. How do you? Yeah. Hmm. What's wrong with what that? What do you mean? And and then society creates all sorts of, whether the conversation is same sex marriage, enslaved Africans, like whatever it is, society creates a, a indisputable reasoning around why. And that indisputable reason is largely the Bible. Hmm. So yeah, that's a big it's like, well, the yeah. Bible said da da da. So that's the way it is. The Bible said it's this way. So that's the way mm. it is. Yeah, you know what I mean? And not to attack the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> the point <laughs> is, with, with, whatever these constructs and ideologies are, like as a society, we create a reason why it should always be that way. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait till we do that show. Yeah, that's gonna be that's that. gonna be a weekend special. That's oh no <laughs> doubt. We gotta <laughs> no doubt. I can't because we he, cause yeah yeah. I, I have a really like, I don't want to get off a subject you know because I can easily <laughs> get off subject. You know I have a strong religious upbringing. I know you do. Yeah. Do you? I've, I've been in everything. I started off in the nation of Islam and oh. <laughs> three and mm-hmm. different types of Islam and all types of stuff. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay. All right, let's, yeah, Yo, you know what? Let's what conversation I do want to have though? Um, the conversation on women's comfort. Women's comfort. I think that's such an incredibly important conversation for men uh, to have, especially. Yeah. Yeah. We well, we need and to recognize. Yeah. You know that. Okay. He hit you with that preacher side eye right there. You I, saw yeah, that? Did I you saw, see that? I yeah. I'm about to tell. I'm about <laughs> to go right, put some money in the bank. <laughs> You know, we need to we need to recognize and understand um, how uncomfortable mm-hmm. women are in every society. day, every day. Interesting. And and I learned this by watching my ex wife mm-hmm. and watching her get ready right. for stuff. Right. And bless her heart, she learned to enjoy it. Mm-hmm. But the makeup, the eyelashes. Well, she didn't really do the eyelashes, but. You know, the makeup. Right, just hair, makeup, hair, makeup, clothes. doing it, the clothes. You know, what type of panties I'm going to wear because mm-hmm. I'm wearing a skirt. Right. And am I going to wear no panties? Right, right. I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> you know. How many uh, times have you been married? 
One time. One time. One so time. Okay, all right. so one, time. Okay. one time. One time. I just want to make sure so, I know that I got the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, um, you know wh- what type of shoes I'm gonna wear, and then I gotta walk around in these clothes that are not comfortable. Right. You know, the shoes that are not the comfortable. shoes that are not comfortable, mm-hmm. and I gotta do this all night in impeccable, and mm-hmm. then then I, I I bleed for seven days or mm-hmm. two days every month. Mm-hmm. I go through mood swings. Right. My hormones are always going up and down. Right. You know, and then I got to wear things that's created by men, mm-hmm. you know, in right. order to, 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 um, yeah. to make, to try to make my life comfortable. Then they got to get pap smears and they got to get their breasts yep. squeezed. Examined. And, and, and yep. waffle irons. Like, or, seriously, yeah. man, like all different types of stuff. So, and they got the nerve not to even heat that shit. Like my wife was like, "Yo, that should be cold." Yeah, and I'm like, "Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can't blow that." And it's all like, "God, yeah, it's no. cold." You know, so the life that they live, if we think about the the cycle, you mm-hmm. know, they got seven days, they got a week out of a month mm. where they're not, they either, um, they're they're in their period. Then mm-hmm. they got a week before, and then a week after. Mm-hmm. So they really only got like one week. week where yeah, it's like free and clear. They like yeah. free and clear. Yeah. Like I, I, yeah. I'm feeling great. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then it, it doesn't, the, the food, you mm-hmm. know, that they eat, mm-hmm. you know, switches up their hormones yep. and stuff like that. And, and carry water differently. Carry water differently and stuff like that. And and then, you know, they create these scenarios inside their head, mm-hmm. you know, of, of um, what they think men want and stuff like that. And, you know, so, hap- so having to deal with. You know the idea of what I should, of what a woman should be, yeah, and then trying to free yourself as a woman, right? But then at the same time having these biological drives mm-hmm. and this 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 need to nurture, but then that it, it's not congruent sometimes with this this boss boss bitch attitude, right? Because right. you want to nurture, you you want a family, but then you want to run a company. Mm-hmm. So now you you stuck in these two worlds of masculine and feminine. Mm-hmm. Why you're uncomfortable? Why are you going through all of this? So as men, we need to begin to understand this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it doesn't necessarily call us to be like uh, champions of, of feminists or feminism, mm-hmm. but be champions of women. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that yeah. we can understand that, yo, this is what they go through. Yeah. You know, and we can begin to to say, hey, are you, um? do you just want to vent to me or right. do you want me to solve the problem? Right. And, you know, to, to know when it is that you have to mm-hmm. react and react. Mm-hmm. So this is a lot that they go through and a lot we have to understand. Yeah. And because we only see value in women, a lot of us, mm-hmm. sexually mm-hmm. and what they can do to us sexually right. and pleasing us. Right, right, right. We overlook the human yeah. spiritual thing that's going on inside of them. And having to fight in a world that's not necessarily natural right, to them. Right. Right. So, like, yeah. it makes me think about you know you you constantly uh, hear women talk about how how much men shut down when they're sick. Like when how men, men when how men become when babies when men get sick. Oh, okay. If I catch okay. a cold, it's a wrap. Right. And it's I'm not I'm so used to comfort. Mm-hmm. I'm so very used to comfort that uh. Pebble in my shoe, uncomfortable jeans. What like, I won't go a whole day that way. You know what I mean? And in this world, it's been designed that they go the whole day, every day, in varying degrees of discomfort. That is true. You know what I mean? And and we laugh, maybe, or or you know, we minimize. You know the the how much comfort women receive when they get home and take a bra off. It's like, yeah, because I've never had to do something every day that was uncomfortable in order to escape from it to, you know, at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Like, mm. my, everything I do is comfortable. I don't, I don't do stuff that's not comfortable. Why would I? We, we allowed to do that as men. But we're allowed to. C- yeah. But here's, the, here's the, the, the interesting thing. More stuff is done to promote women's comfort. But we, some people perceive that as, is like, well, they got everything. No, they need this. They need the spas and things like this. Yeah. They need that type of stuff. We don't necessarily need that. 
you know, on top of that, the things that are designed, m most if not, you know, historically, 99% of the things that are designed for women's comfort are designed by men. That is true. Who have not ever experienced the discomfort. Being a woman. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, okay, wear these high heels and I'll give you this little soft pad. Now you got comfortable high heels. They're not comfortable. No. They're not, they're just not as uncomfortable. Mm. But they're still uncomfortable. Like, can you imagine walking around like that every day? That is. And the, um, and this is and the, the flip side getting back to the fairy tale, and this is why she's always been the princess, right? And because at some point I believe men somewhere along the line mm -hmm. we recognize that and we have a need to want to take care of the woman. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you know we have this Absolutely. this need to want to make her life it's not tough. comfortable, and because it's something that's in us. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, um, women have to come to the decision of you can't have it both ways now right you either gonna want us to comfort you you know and open doors for you or whatever or you you want us to kind of treat you like us because when when a woman says she wants equality mm -hmm. is she asking to be treated like a man and we are very rough with each other mm -hmm. we could be very you yeah. know we, we could say stuff to each other that if we said it to our women you know the the relationship will be over right, right you know right, let alone right. you might get something upside your head yeah. <laughs> you know what i'm yeah. saying so we, we 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 have to recognize that we can't treat them the same and we have to demand that you know listen you have to understand this that we can't treat you the same mm -hmm. the same <coughs> excuse me but but is equality see I think that's a that's another thing like you know these conversations <laughs> that we have we're so quick to draw conclusions like I'm talking about in society mm -hmm. society so quick to draw a conclusion of what this means this you know what I mean it's like those like those word charts that kids yeah, have yeah, like connect yeah. this word to the word on this side of the page and we're yeah. so quick to try to make a connection and it's like hang mm -hmm. on we need to kind of explore and discuss a little longer before we draw a conclusion like. Mm -hmm. When in the conversation of equality, I think about it like the way um, people who are like hard, I don't know if hardcore might be uh, uh, insulting to this group of people, but people who are vegans, the mm -hmm. way they treat animals is as if animals are whole feeling and sentient beings. They're just not humans, but it doesn't give me the right to impose on them so i don't get to wear them for clothes eat them for food so hunt them for sport so a as a person that's considered a vegan yeah let me explain please to do you. all right it is very foolish because you're thinking you're operating outside of nature mm -hmm. because you're in these buildings mm -hmm. but you are a part of nature right and nature dictates that if a lion was religious and a gazelle was religious the lion would be praying let please God let me catch this gazelle. Right, and the <laughs> gazelle will be praying. Please, please God, God, don't, don't let this lion catch don't let me. Exactly. Yeah. So that's nature. So we, as predators, and and that's what we are. We exist in nature. Mm -hmm. You know, our prey as vegans is plants. Mm -hmm. They can't get away from us, mm -hmm. but they have nervous systems. You know, mm -hmm. they 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 feel. Yeah. And and they have they have children. They have wars. Like I, I was watching this thing where. Plants actually fight each other. They have wars against each other. Mm -hmm. And it's done underground. Like mm -hmm. you can't really yeah, see it yeah. with the roots. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Every living creature needs living organism to feed on. Right. Exa exactly. Right. Period. Exactly. But there's a difference between a food chain and dominion. Mm -hmm. So what I'm talking about is like the food part is the food part. But when it comes to I'm going to kill you for, the, for your skin... Mm -hmm. Right. Or I'm going to kill you so I can put your face on my wall. I, like that's a different experience than I'm going to hunt you to eat you. That's operating within nature. That part is operating within nature. That's part is uh, the yeah. other part. Is Leather jackets are not. That's outside of nature. Right. That's so un unless unless oh, oh, you saying killing the animal for its skin is outside of nature. And, oh, no. And unless it, you know, like like. um. In indigenous people here, mm -hmm. you know, when they killed the buffalo, you know, 
it they use all of it. It was a spiritual thing because yeah. you right. use all of yeah. that yeah. buffalo. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, so yes, you have buffalo skins, but this buffalo was honored and mm -hmm. you you used every aspect of it. Right. right. Now it's like you don't have to right. have leather. Right. 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 It's right. not necessary right. 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 for anything to be leather. Yeah. You know. But so the kind of circle is back in the conversation of treating men and women and equality. Mm. I think the conversation that isn't being had isn't the conversation that's not being had is the fullness of womanhood, not yes. womanhood relative to manhood. Not yes. like, okay, I'll, all right, well, I'll treat you as an equal. So I'll treat you like I treat another man. Yes. It's like, I treat you like a whole thing, not a thing uh, that's uh, relative a, to me. A, a person. Yeah. And, and also the the underlying thing is is that men have to also do that for them to s themselves yeah for sure because we're defined as you know well uh, our role to women mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so yep. for instance um I do not believe men and women are equal mm -hmm. I believe they're equal as spiritual beings mm -hmm. and as human beings mm -hmm. and I think that two things that are not the same can never be equal copy all right so here's the thing. A woman needs more health care than I do. Right. On average, if we're two both healthy right. creatures. Yes. What's eventually is going to happen is she may get pregnant. Mm -hmm. She experienced things with her body that I don't experience. Right. right. So her health care has to be different. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. it, it has to be more accessible to her. Mm -hmm. And probably it has to be more comprehensive. Mm -hmm. We're not equal because we don't need the same thing. Right. Yeah. So that's what it is. So. Yep. If we take care of the human rights, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, and our humanity first, mm -hmm. then we can focus on allowing people to be what they are, right. un unadulterated. Right. And I think that that's the problem. I think that we have put too much emphasis on gender and not too so much on humanity. Mm -hmm. You know, because the humanity will work out every problem. Everything. You know, and the gender will fall right in line with with, with that right and especially if you honor each other as spiritual beings right you know because now you're not if you honor if, if you realize that we're all spiritual beings we all from the same source mm -hmm. then what's going to happen is i'm not going to you know disrespect the woman right you know right. and because there's this like inherent battle between men and women yeah, that yeah, continuously yeah, yeah. goes on mm -hmm. like and i think the spirituality part would kind of address that but i don't hear yeah. Yeah, because yeah. per the perception is going to be different. Like, like for me, I practice Sanatana Dharma or Hinduism. Okay. And in practicing Hinduism, my my patron deity that I I I, I use right. or I operate through or or access mm -hmm. or or worship or whatever is Lakshmi, mm -hmm. which is a female, mm -hmm. and that's who I'm in service mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. and that's the energy that I I bring. Got it. You know, which is why I write sexual stuff Got and it. stuff like that in love poems. Mm -hmm. I never knew that, but mm -hmm. that's the energy that surrounds me. Right. You know, so um, just to, just for people that's listening to this, they clear that I'm not coming as a person. My my God is is a woman. My God is man also, but my God is is seen as woman mm -hmm. and man. But I access the feminine mm -hmm. side mostly because that's what I'm supposed to do now. You know, so. We have to really start to see woman as divine, also. Yeah. And once we do that, we can actually begin to um, treat her differently oh, yeah, by accordingly. allowing her. Yeah. Without you know, and and uh, the word allow is kind of like it's like we're letting yeah. her, but we got to just get out the way. Right. You know, and let her figure it right. out. You know, because right now she's you know she's stumbling and and falling and and. A lot of that is because men are pushing uh, against yeah. that. Yeah, we're not so if we just step way. back and let the woman do what they do, right? Whatever problems they have, they're gonna work it out, mm -hmm. and then they're gonna come back full circle. Mm -hmm. And but we got to be working on our end also. You know? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think that's a, as good a place to close it as any. Well, that's another segment of Steve Starzy Show. I want to thank my man Fay a lot for coming through. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, how could they uh, reach out to you, brother? You, your social media handles, anything? Oh, man. Fay La underscore Mara on Instagram. F-E-L-A uh -huh. underscore M-E-R-A-H. 
And on Facebook, it's just Fela Marat, F-E-L-A-M-E-R-A-H. My man. Oh, I just want to say that I, I will be um, doing life coaching soon. I'm also, uh, I teach yoga right now mm-hmm. <coughs> at um, I'm So Yoga in North, mm-hmm. located on Raymond Boulevard. Mm-hmm. Nice, you know, nice. 6 p.m. Fridays and 11 a.m. on Sundays. What? Yeah. Come through and get your... Yeah. Shavasana on. Get your Shavasana <laughs> on. That's, that's <laughs> the favorite. Everybody knows yeah, Shavasana. That's my favorite. Gi- Shh, bro. When it's time to lay down. Uh, what? Right, 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 right. I love that joint. So listen, everyone, thanks for rocking with us again. Um, you know, we had, we had some time off. We'll be trying to get back at you and uh, with more content, more conversations. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, as we build this uh, this show. So thanks you, thank you again, Fela. I'm Steve. I'm Starsky. And we're out.